a white man's kingdom to come down and for us, Israel, to take over. It's for, it's our time to rule. Mm -hmm. Okay? It says, but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, all dominions shall serve and obey it. Right, in time. In time. In time. Hey, brother, you know that song? Time. Yeah, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. time is coming to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, you got another one? Time is yeah. on my side. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember um, the <laughs> Apostle Gabor long ago when we had the school, remember? We had the shows in the public access channel. And um, I forgot the name of the show. Uh, I don't know. Time to Wake Up? Yes. Yeah, it was called Time to Wake Up. Cause we, we, we took over what their elders, the show they had was called Time to Wake Up. So we had our, our Time to Wake Up. And our elder apostle, Gabor, he put that song up, you know? Uh, 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 time is coming, I think one of them. Time is coming today or time is on my side. You gotta read that for me. Uh, Psalms 102 and 13. Psalms 102 and 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Right, is there a time to favor Zion, to favor Israel? A set a point in time that the Heavenly Father has set up. Right now, he has not favored Israel. We, Israel's still catching hell out there, right? Underneath Esau. So obviously the time has not come for, for Israel to gain favor, you know, on a small scale through us, by having us out here, he has shown his prophets favor, you know, but on a full scale, I'm saying, that has not come, but it's coming, we're close. Go ahead. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. <laughs> the most high is going to arise, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to arise and have mercy upon Zion, upon Israel, okay? Go ahead. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is the coming. Set, there's a set time appointed. Alright? Is that it? The set time is come. The set time is come. Alright? And we're very close to that to that time. Um, hold that guy. Your brother been holding set for a lot for a while. Read what you got. It's in Jeremiah 27 and 5. I had made the earth. The man and the beast that are upon the ground. But my great power and my by my great power and by my outstretched arm and have given it unto whom <laughs> seem meet unto me. Okay. Lord, that's that's just going into that. The Lord is setting whoever he seems whoever seems meet, which is like perfect, fitting for the time. Yeah. Whoever the Lord seems fit for the time to rule, that's who he's gonna give it to. Right. Now, yeah, okay, now I got something in uh, this is from ForestNews.com, and this is going into uh, time travel because uh, this is Esau's next endeavor. He's got a like to show Star Trek, right, with the warp speed and the time travel, hi uh, hyper uh, hyper speed. Okay, now it. Now I'm gonna read this article. It says uh, time travel has fascinated people for generations, leaving them with the same questions. Has it been done? Can it be done? Is it being done? Well, the answer to these questions are found in the Bible. The problem with so many people today is that they read the Bible instead of studying the Bible. Mm -hmm. For example, in Revelation chapter four, did John have a vision in which he just saw something? Or was John transported to a future place in time? I believe John went through a door and arrived in our future <laughs> where he was able to see the events unfolding right. that have not yet happened. That's exactly it. Then he was transported back into his own time. Yeah. Right? Then it goes on. But I read it because what this dude said is, is exactly what happened. It's like I would have said, when you read the book of Revelation, John, he actually was transported into time and he saw America being destroyed. Mm. He saw World War One. He saw World War Two. He saw World War Three. Much of the visions or prophecies that the apostles saw and the ancient prophets, they were time travel. That's why it was so real that they got scared. 
you know, almost passing out um, from a uh, uh, from what from what they saw because they were actually time traveled to that point in time. Yeah. See? But they couldn't tamper with it. You know, it's just, you know. See, Esau wanted to tamper with shit. Fuck shit up. But they, you, Esau understands that. They made movies where they went back in the past and they started fucking shit and in the, they fucked up everything in the future. You know? Like back in the future? But you can't, you can't, uh, you can't do it. Even the Terminator. The newest Terminator. They went back in the, Well, that's how the Terminator is. Yeah, exactly. All the movies are Terminator. They went back in time to try to change the, out the, uh, the outcome of the future, mm -hmm. which is what Esau is trying to do. And Esau, you know, all these things he does with Israel, making them go off, commit sin and this and that, changing uh, their nationality, trying to trick them on side into, into thinking that they're the real Israelites and all that. They're trying to distort prophecy and change the future. You see? Because according to the future, the Most High is going to deliver us and give us the next kingdom and take Esau down. So Esau is trying to do things now, dealing with uh, space and science and things on a spiritual level with witchcraft to try to disrupt the prophecies and change the outcome. You know, or what the prophecies say of us rule. It's not going to happen. No, time is one thing you saw can't fuck with. Only the most high can mess with that. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Can't touch that. Can't touch that. No. All right. Um, that got, got that. No. If you had something, I'm cool. Yeah. No, it's all time thing. Yeah. Um, uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha. Yeah, uh, uh, Thirty-seven and, and he's coming right now. Twenty-five. It says, it says the days of the life of man may be numbered, but the days of Israel are innumerable. Okay, yeah, it says the days, it says the days of the life of man may be numbered. Yeah, because like, you know, like the Elder Sakharan was throwing in earlier, man, the most has a, your number, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yahweh Shemesh has your number. The Heavenly Father. This time you're going to be born. This, this is the time you're going to die. Mm -hmm. this, this is the time that you're going to be set up. This is the time you're going to be brought down. Okay? It says, the days of the life of man may be numbered, but the days of Israel are innumerable. Yeah, because we're going to rule in the kingdom forever, man. Only the so-called white man doesn't have the days that's innumerable. Because at a certain time, when we get into the kingdom, after a thousand years, the so-called white man is going to be destroyed, man. Off of the face of the earth. Alright? But the days of Israel are innumerable, man. Alright? So, like the brother read in, um, like the, the, the brother read in, uh, the, uh, like the brother of Paul read in, um, uh, Daniel's the seventh chapter. Why don't you say the elder I thought read in Daniel's the seventh chapter. Hey, the Lord said we're going to possess the kingdom forever and ever and forever. I mean, age after age after age after age. Only the so-called white man days are not innumerable, man. Okay? You go to Obadiah, the first chapter tells you that, man. All right? He's going to be uh, gathered up in a great fire and destroyed and burned up, man. All right? Bring it out. This is um, Psalms 40, 49 and 11. Right. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Yeah. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, man. That's the so-called white man, man. All right? Right? His inward thought is what? That's why I like the Elder Sakharov bringing out Esau is trying to manipulate time, man. No? Yeah, just ignore him. Alright? Alright? Because the demons, oh, yeah, and with thoughts, now, the elites, the elites of society, oh, thank you, man. the elites of hey, society, yeah, the too, right? they, they want this Jesus place to go on forever. They want a, they want the society. Uh, see, but don't worry about job, this demon, man. We're just going to keep on teaching the word, man. Get a job. You want to talk shit, get a job. And with thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Yeah, that's the elites of society, man. That's the, uh, the uh, so job, white man, the, the international bankers, man. Their inward thought is that they're going to live forever. That's right. All right? That their, their, their plans are going to continue on, man. Right, right. That they're going to continue to keep the children of Israel in the, uh, a hardcore bondage, right? <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, that's the inward thought. Right. You know? That's right. 